Yes, you've seen it here. Trip number three to Bear Country. Beware. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Low on battery, but I just have to go back to this trail of paws. Look at that size of that. Look at this. Huh? A mountain lion, maybe? Look at that. Here. Right there. A deer, looks like. Over here. Another pawed animal. Four paws, I don't know. Look at that one. Look at this. This is just remarkable. Look at these. It looks like bear claws. Look at those. Look at those. I don't know if I ever see anything like this again. So we're going to walk down here. Look at these. I can follow this big old cat. Look at that. Look at this cat. Look at that. Look at these. Look at that. Yeah. Some of these are people. I guess people are doing the same thing I'm doing, huh? Look at that. Put it in pause for a second. We'll find some bear tracks over here. Look how deep that is. Look how deep that is. That is one heavy animal. I'm not sure what are bear tracks and what are... Look at the size of those claws. Look at that. These things are big. No wonder people go missing in these mountains all the time. I mean, there's a phenomenon going on. I know no one believes it. They're just deep. These are some heavy, heavy animals. People don't believe it, but I mean, hundreds and hundreds of people go missing in the Sierras all the time. Just vanish. And probably they're idiots like me like me roaming around in the tracks of the beasts that eat you. Look at that size of that sucker. <sighs> There's another one, look at that. You can't make this stuff up. That's not the same guy, that's, that's different than that. So who's tracking who? Look at that, just, just man. So the fools like me walking around looking at these predator paw prints and they're looking at you looking at the paw prints and they're saying huh if it was just a little darker because right up there and that's all deep woods that's all deep woods there we are oh there we are I can't open it up right now there we are way over there I just wanted to show you these I mean I probably will never see anything like this again Let's see what's over here real quick. Probably getting boring. I don't care. I got a whole mishmash of them. There's bear, there's a mountain lion. Look at that big sucker. Look at the size of this guy right here. Look at the size of that. So, there we go. Scott's Flat Lake is raining. It's supposed to be a big storm tonight. Look at the skies. From that hurricane hitting, I guess it's blown through Arizona, but we're getting the back end of it. It's kind of swirling around, hitting Northern California a little bit. Some say we'll get snow, but there, there's no way. So I tried worms. I tried power bait. I tried bottom fishing. I tried bringing it up off the bottom. Look at more. Just everywhere. This place, you know, you see your romantic couple, you're sitting down here looking at the, the lake. Maybe the moon is over it. You're going, what a wonderful place. And then, whack! Mountain lion takes your girlfriend or your boyfriend away, drags them off, eats them. 
Yeah. All right. I'm going back up there. You can see it through the trees. 175 RD in the tank of the trailer. TT. TT is the name. Okay, we'll see you later. We're going to go build a big bonfire. I only got about 22% left on my battery, so who knows. Bye. All right. It is starting to come down and rain. But that's why we brought Presto logs. And the Lord, God loved God and America. We pulled in and we had a whole bundle of pre-cut, seasoned, stacked oak. <laughs> and this is what I did with it. So it's raining. But I got a Presto down there. Prestos do it every time. There should be. There's the chairs. That's my signature. That's my Jaco right there, huh? Telling you, Jaco people. Uh, especially you over there in uh, Yuba City. What was that called? All Seasons Yuba City. Hey, Ernie. Hey, Ernie. This is Mike. Remember? We talked. I gave you that secret, secret clue. Hope you're following it. But this is your, this is your trailer. We're doing it. Third trip in three weeks. Getting prepared. So it's going to get dark here soon. We're going to try to cook out here instead of smoking up the, the camper. There you go, huh? Can you get any much better than this? I'll give you a, a slow 360. So, like I told you, we bought this uh, late August. We made three trips. Garbage right there. That's real nice. Three trips to it. We went to the gold mining area in the Sierras, to the Delta, and now back up to the Sierras, but this is a lake, actually, it's a reservoir. And I tried to fish it, didn't catch anything, but worst day fishing is better than your best day working or something like that. And there we be. That's going to cook down real nice. Talk to you later. This is our first night boondocking and our batteries, I used a third, got a third water left, uh, one tank is half, the other tank's a third, gray water I think it is, and we're doing okay, we got heat, we got heat right down there. Lots and lots of heat. Having a hard time charging my battery, so this is it. I'll show you our little living room. Took the table down. A lot of room. We just we got it full of the TV there. We haven't set that up because we don't have 120 or 110 flowers. We aren't using the batteries for our lighting. We have that. And we have a little DVD player. And everything's okay. First night boondocking, and we're just missing, uh, we're not missing anything. Maybe a TV, but we got the DVD, so hey, all is good. Yes, yeah, sir, Bob. 175 RD in the middle of the Sierras. It's cold outside, too. Adios. Cold and rainy. Cold and rainy. Cold and rainy. Wet and rainy. Wet, cold, and rainy. Adios. It's it's kind of late for fishing in the morning. I just got out here. Just using worms. So we're pulling out in about oh, two hours, maybe an hour and a half. An overnighter. And this is where we came to. Can you believe that? All right. Is that a bite? Could that be a bite? I don't know. See ya. Well, if you can see it, there's the signature red chair. And yeah, we're camped over there. 
175 RD, if you can see it. Got campers over there. Uh, they're all from England. Been here two days, ended up up here. And uh, quite a little strip tea show. They all went down here and got naked, jumped in the jumped in the lake. <laughs> it was yeah, Europeans, you know. Uh, <laughs> but there we are. There we be. All right, just a quick little show you where we are type of deal. It really is nice having a. Uh, trailer travel trailer you know sure beats doing what they're doing out there it was rainy last night hey. but anyway we'll see you on the way back unless I catch a fish bye well we are leaving Scott's flat Scott's flat lake lake we did not see boo-boo or yogi we saw bear tracks we saw mountain lion tracks we saw Deer tracks. Deer tracks. Geese. Geese. Ducks. Duck. Oh, we saw. I saw. Long distance only. Some naked girls from England who's just been over here for two days in the United States washing in the lake. Right? I mean, that was, that was, that was about nature. And here we go through the gates. American flag. And we're back up on the freeway. Short tow home. And thus will conclude the third day trip with the tank and the trailer, the Toyota, and the Jayco. See you on the road again.